please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. When working with web applications in Python, you may encounter HTTP status codes to understand the outcome of your requests. One common status code is 403 forbidden, which indicates that the server understood the request but refuses to authorize it. The HTTP 403 forbidden client error status response code indicates that the server understood the request but refuses to authorize it. This status is similar to 401 unauthorized, but indicates that the client must authenticate itself to get permission. A 403 response is not a guarantee that the client will be able to access the requested resource upon providing authentication. Let's explore a simple example using the requests library in Python. First, make sure to install the library if you haven't already. Now, consider a scenario where you are trying to access a web page that requires authentication. In this example, we attempt to access a protected resource on https colon slash slash example dot com slash protected slash resource. We use the requests library to send an HTTP GET request with the provided credentials. If the server responds with a 403 forbidden status code, we handle it accordingly. Remember to replace your underscore username and your underscore password with your actual credentials. Additionally, adjust the URL based on the target web page. Understanding and handling the 403 forbidden status code is crucial when interacting with web applications that require authentication. By using the requests library in Python, you can implement robust solutions to handle authentication and gracefully manage access denied scenarios. ChatGPT